So you might have seen other popsicle stick skateboard videos on YouTube, and they all have the same problem. Boards break. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the videos, and I love the creators even more. I just want to see a stronger popsicle stick skateboard. So I'm gonna use my engineering background and popsicle stick bridge building skills to build the best popsicle stick skateboard. Make sure to stick around to the end, because I'm gonna get a pro skater to ride this thing. But first, we have to go back to school. Class is in session. I'm gonna teach you the art of building a popsicle stick skateboard in three easy steps. So first step, rounded edges. Rounded edges don't fit together well, and they leave little gaps. We're gonna cut the edge off so it's nice and flat. And we're flying past the gap. Now they fit together nicely with no gaps. No gaps. Number two is glue. Pick the right glue. The problem with normal wood glue is that it dries too fast. Skate glue dries in about three hours, so you have time to build the entire skateboard. Pressure. Back when I built the bridge out of popsicle sticks, we used a hydraulic press to squish all the sticks together, and it made an incredibly strong beam. Now, I don't have access to a hydraulic press anymore, but I'll figure that out later. And if you follow these three steps, you too can have a very strong popsicle stick skateboard. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm dying! To start building the skateboard, we're gonna need a lot of popsicle sticks. There's gonna be a weird scene. <laughs> I finished off the whole box, and I need a faster way to get thousands of popsicle sticks. Did my glasses break? <laughs> I posted up on the Walmart rooftop waiting for my dealer. Thank you very much, this is a massive box. We got the popsicle sticks now, 10,000 in the trunk. Let's go home and rip this box open. Oh my god. I mean, what did I expect? Gotta turn these rounded ends into flat ends. I built this jig and it holds 250 popsicle sticks at once. Oh my god. That was so much more hectic than what I thought. That was not chill at all. What do you think? I, yeah, I mean, that was <laughs> your goal for me, watching your face is hilarious. We're just gonna roll with this and get this entire box down here totally full. Now, whenever you're doing a build, it's always good to make a prototype. And I figured if I can make a skateboard out of a singular popsicle stick, how hard would it be to make a skateboard out of 2,000? All right, I think we're ready for the full-size model. This is a skateboard. This is what we want at the end. What better way to make a skateboard than with two skateboards? So I'm gonna be using two skateboard decks as the mold. All right. Time to start gluing. One of the main reasons I picked this glue is because it's supposed to take a long time to dry, but it's one of the hottest days of the year, which means that I probably have about an hour to work with this glue before it starts to dry. So I think the first layer is the most important layer. It's gonna be the bottom, it's gonna be what you see, and it's gonna hold most of the weight when you're stepping in the middle. Here we go, the first layer is set. Oh my gosh, it's not working at all. Oh no. Okay, that was a fail. Now it's half glued and it's falling apart. I have to fix this. I'm getting very frustrated. Ah! All right, I've closed almost all the gaps. I'm gonna try gluing it again, but I'm gonna use two hands this time. I hate it. My new strategy is gonna be using this hot glue gun to glue down the first layer so that once it's stuck, then I can apply the glue with the roller and it won't move all the popsicle sticks. I think it's gonna work way better than before. All right, this is working so much better. I can just hold this wherever I want now and it just stays in place. So skateboards are typically seven layers, but I'm gonna make mine nine layers because it's made of popsicle sticks. So I wanna make it a bit more beefy. I'm gonna do seven layers this way and then two layers this way to keep it all together. If this peels up again, I'm gonna have to start all over. So I really hope that doesn't happen. Okay, it's actually working, so I want this to be very, very strong, so I'm just gonna load it up with the glue. The glue's even stronger than the wood. Okay, now I have to work really quick, so let's go. I've already used one container of glue, and we are now on layer four. I have five layers to go, so I'm pretty much halfway, but it's gonna be the same thing over and over again, so we're just gonna do it. So three hours of gluing later, we're finally at the one last piece. I just have to put it in place. A bit of glue, the last piece of the skateboard. All right, it's complete. Now, I could just cover this thing in clamps and call it a day, but I've got a better idea. Hey, can I borrow your car? I think I just got pooped on by one of these crows up here. Let me know if you can see it in my back. Is it there? Oh, gross. Oh, it's starting to squish. All right, I'm covering bird poo and dirt now from laying on the ground. This is the best I could do. We've got a clamp. Up at the front, it looks pretty good. We got a clamp at the back, it looks okay-ish. It shifted a little bit here, but overall, it looks pretty good, and I know that it's applying a lot of force. I'm gonna let this sit overnight, and by the time I wake up in the morning, I'm hoping that it is rock solid and shaped like a skateboard. So I still have thousands of extra popsicle sticks, and I thought I would make something while I wait for the glue to dry. See if you can figure out what it is before I finish. Chop three popsicle sticks in half, 
drill holes in all four of these. You need a couple of pieces like this. The last piece we need looks like this, and now it's time to glue it together. Can you guess what it's gonna be? It's a butterfly knife. <laughs> I have 8,000 sticks left. This took nine, so I can make about, I don't know, a thousand of these. So it's the morning now, and the skateboard has been clamped under here for about 12 hours. All right, we slide it out. Okay, time to peel and reveal. I think this is gonna be really satisfying. Oh, I think it's looking pretty good. It's got a tail, it's got a nose, and it's a little bit concave down the middle. It's only a little bit busted, but it looks pretty good, and I think it's gonna turn into a pretty good skateboard once we cut it all out. Can you imagine doing this without any power tools? I'd say that we are definitely getting somewhere with this. This is looking like a skateboard now. All right, it's time to drill the holes now. If they don't get put in the right spot, the board's gonna cruise all crooked, and it's gonna be terrible. Our skateboard's looking kind of like a brick. It's very thick. So we're gonna sand it down and make it a bit thinner. It's starting to look way better now that it's sanded. We're making pretty, am I yelling? Oh, we're making pretty decent progress. Sorry for yelling. So the reason I'm going to all this trouble is because I want a pro skater to ride this board and not think that it sucks. I'm trying to make a good impression. All right, so none of this would have been possible without the help of Marlo and her shop. So Marlo, thank Hi. you very much. If you need any kind of custom woodworking done, you can check her out on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Tranquilo Wood Co. All right, links in the description. We're gonna put four layers of clear coat. It's gonna take four hours to dry each time, so that's a 16 hour day of just applying clear coat. It's 2 a.m. and I'm putting in the last layer of clear coat. Everybody's sleeping. All right, this has been a long time coming. All right, it's finally time to ride this thing. We have the trucks and the wheels on. We got the grip tape on the other side. We're ready to go. Oh, it only, I did only. It was going good until I got cocky and almost broke the tail off. But I was determined to land a kickflip. Oh, so close. That's the best I got. That's pretty much the best I can do without breaking it. So I'm gonna get a pro skater to ride this. I spent three weeks messaging pro skaters trying to get them to ride this board. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. None of them can do it. So I've got my friend Nick here and we're about to make him a pro skater. What does it take to be a professional skateboarder? A lot of dedication and practice, I guess, yeah. But the most important thing, you have to get paid. Yeah. So if I pay you in beer right now to skate this, you'll technically be a professional. I guess so, yeah. So we've gone through the loopholes and now you're professional. So I want to show you the skateboard and get your reaction for the first time because I didn't make this whole thing out of popsicle sticks. Right, so good. here it is. <laughs> Sick. <man. laughs> nice, dude. All right, the reveal. <laughs> Huge props to Nick, man. He just keeps trying until he gets it. Oh, yeah, riding away. Nice. Yeah. on bolts you're fine if you land on the tail it's gonna be a bad time okay he's gonna try and hit the rail now and if he hits it right in the middle I feel like it might snap I don't know we'll see yes the combo I think this is the best popsicle stick skateboard that's been built <laughs> oh first try Damn! Oh, there it is! <laughs> nice! There goes the tail. Here, you mind if I try? Yeah, no, go for it. <laughs> Alright, we'll see what I can do. Look at this! There's... <laughs> the sticks are coming out the side! <laughs> oh. <laughs> the second try. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's the tail and the nose now. Yeah. So you know what that means, right? Just probably stomp it. Stomp it, dude. Yes. There it is, the best popsicle skateboard I could build. If you can build one better, let me know. Make a video. <laughs> <laughs>
And uh, subscribe if you liked it.